Hello and welcome back to our Basics of Blender course from CarArtStudios.com. In this second video of our edit section, we'll be talking about how to add geometry to our primitives, how to expand upon those primitives to start getting the objects we want, to, we want, and also we'll be going over some modifiers how to that'll help us uh, streamline that process. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's our default Blender screen, and we want to go ahead and make sure our cube here is selected. Let's go ahead and delete that by hitting X and delete that cube. Let's go ahead and just add another cube by Shift A and our mesh cube. If you notice when we are over here on, over here a new menu pops up and um, we can adjust the radius of it so you don't have to scale. You can say I want my cube to be two blender units by two, right now it's one blender unit by uh, one blender unit and we can say we want it to be two by two. Uh, we can change our location over here. Now some objects will let you, let's go ahead and delete this cube again. Now some objects will actually have a, another option over here. Let's shift A and let's add a UV sphere. If you look up here where our vertices are and our faces, you can see we have 482 vertices, 512 faces, and um, 960 triangles. If we would go ahead and let's zoom in a little bit, we can actually extend our geometry by let's double this and see what happens to the vertices. 482 right now. Let's double this to 64. Notice how our vertices uh, double and our faces pretty much double. Our segments are your actual longitudinal lines and your rings are your lat uh, latitudinal lines. So if we double both of these, 16 times 2. Another trick you can do in Blender is if you can, can't do the math in your head, you can do 16 times 2 and it'll double it for you. So you can actually write math into these, these here. So we've actually have a lot more vertices and a lot more faces. So let's go ahead and tab into edit mode and now you have all these vertices. Now you have uh, edges, now it brings up edges now, vertices, edges, and faces. So that's one way to, uh, to increase your geometry. Like I said, on some, some objects you're able to do this, other objects you can't. You just notice when we had the cube, you didn't have this option. So let's go ahead and tab back into um, object mode. Let's delete this cube. And let's go ahead and do a Shift A and let's do a mesh and a cube. All right, let's go ahead and tab back into edit mode. Right now we have, we didn't have any options for the, uh, we, didn't, we had no options for increasing the geometry on this cube. So how do we do this? There's a few ways to do this. One of the easiest ways to get a, a uh, consistent division of the entire cube is we can subdivide it. So if we hit W, we come up with a new menu. We have subdivide, subdivide, smooth, a lot of things in here. Right now we're just going to subdivide. So if I hit the subdivide key, notice now it turned, it cut every face in half, both in the X and the Y and the Z in the X direction. If you look at the same, now remember we're in edit mode. If you look at the same menu over here, you have numbers of cuts. So it cut every face once this way and once this way. If I would up that to two, now it cuts it in two even this way and two even that way. And notice my vertices and faces go up when I do this. So I'm basically adding more geometry to my cube. 